Hello, today I'm trying to work out what to put in my travel art bag. So I'm playing around with a lot of different materials and working out which ones I think I'll use the most when I go away. I've got a couple of things in here. The main thing I'm trying to work out at the moment is what pencils and uh, colouring media I want to take with me. So I've got out an art creation sketchbook and put washi tape on so I can do a couple of sketches. I've pulled up a mountain photograph so I can practice the kind of scenery that I'll be seeing on my trip next month and seeing which colours I use the most. So today I'm going to be using Tombow markers, Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2 crayons. I've already got my little um, Altoid tin palette worked out. So it's the other media I'm looking at today. I also had a go yesterday at drawing a couple. So I'd, again, I just picked a photograph and then tried sketching it out in a couple of different media. This was the watercolour underlay with some luminance details on top. And then this one was all Neo Colour 2s. I tried to use less water than I usually do. And I had better results with this Art Creations pad. There's only a small amount coming through. I tend to use an awful lot of water when I watercolour. And that has seeped through in the past. So yeah, being a bit more cautious worked quite well. So basically I'm just going to do the same again today and see which colours I think I'm going to get the most use out of. So this first one I'm going to do with Tombows for the background and Luminance on top. I was planning on only taking luminance pencils, but I'm finding that I'm struggling a little bit with the green range. So I've got, these are the luminance greens that I've got, um, like the yellowy kind of natural foliage greens. And I've got this dark th uh, thalocyanine green here. And then I've got, um, this olive green, uh, sorry, olive brown here. Um, that's the sap green, that's more of a blue green. And then I've got the moss green here. And as I'm colouring, as I'm doing this foliage down the bottom here, kind of would like something like a, a darker olive that isn't as brown as that. So looking at, looking at my row of greens here, I think I'm going to pull out the Prismacolor kelp green and the Polychromos chromium green opaque uh, and add those. So just to show you on my luminance chart, I've got the dark, thyla, dark thalocyanine green here and I've got the, uh, the olive brown here and I've got the moss green here and there's no other 
olivey, yellowy greens to choose from really. That's my moss green. That's my olive, olive brown and they're both luminous and I'm looking for something in between those colours really. So I've, I've found, I've picked out four to try out. This is Prismacolor Moss Green. olive green yellowish in Prismacolor. That's chromium green opaque polychromos. Cap green in Prisma colour. So I'm looking for something between these two. I think that one is close enough that I don't need to take that one. I'm going to try these middle two. Okay, so I've done my Neo Colour one, but I find a similar kind of problem. I don't have enough range of greens. So what I've done is pulled out um, the khaki green from my Poscas, and it might be that I end up just taking that with me for this real good deep green contrast. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and take this tape off.
I think I prefer yesterday's little sketches that I did to today's ones. Um, they're pretty basic, but it is a very useful exercise to work out which things, which greens and um, greys and browns I'm going to be reaching for a lot if I'm trying to draw mountains. And I'm anticipating these are the kind of scenes that I'm going to be coming across. So I'll put I'll put the colours that I've used a lot today definitely in my new art bag. I'm going to keep doing little exercises like this at home and narrowing down which supplies I want to take. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye!